Oh, uh, hello everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short. And today we're going to be talking. We're going to be reacting to Broly Radiates Black Air Force Energy. So all links will all links will be down below. I will be your resident black friend. Talk through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look. I have got a black friend. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Okay. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. There's my husband. Really, nigga? Hey. There you go. Not him. Hey, Vegeta. I'm sorry. I gotta always say hi when I see him. Keep going. Me and Majin Buu. <laughs> Majin Buu, we were in the same outfit. Uh-uh. <laughs> Challenger is approaching to be judged and to join this council of sacred gods. Now this man needs no introduction. And my god, if he makes it, we're gonna need a bigger table because his big ass is gonna take up at least three seats by himself. But yes, it is finally time to welcome the legendary Giga Nigga 9000 himself, <laughs> Broly. Now, Broly's now, awesome, you know. Broly's a menace. I mean, even though his original backstory is stupid as fuck. Yeah, it is. The original Broly movie, like he, he had the stupidest backstory I've ever yeah. heard in my life. Thank God they fixed that in the super movie, yo. But no, we're not here to hear any of that backstory, no bullshit. We are here to see this big ass, tall ass, 7 Eleven ass motherfucker, wholesome nigga. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck. And it is time to see if this man is worthy to be sat at the round table of Black Air Force activity. So without <laughs> further ado, <clears throat> exhibit A. Okay. This man beat the hell out of four Super Saiyans and a Namek at the same damn time. I tell <laughs> yeah, this, this it did. One of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history. And he like, did. This man literally <laughs> ran everybody's fade. Like they couldn't even jump him, bro. Look how he just dodges all this shit with no effort, giving zero, <laughs> zero fucks in the process. Hey, but yo, I ain't gonna lie though. At the beginning of the movie, I didn't think he was gonna be all that. I mean, when you first see the dude in his base form, I mean, come on, y'all, just look at his ass, bro. With this uh, that is my son Broly, my liege. Forgive him, he's a very passive boy. Beta male, got it. His long pencil ass neck. Motherfucker look like an inbred straight out of central Alabama. And yo, this man looks high as a kite, bro. Facts, facts. And it, I saw the regular Broly movie, and then I saw the bridge one. I'm telling you, it it played so hard into him looking like that. It, it doesn't it doesn't help. Like this nigga look like he in his own world at the moment. So when I was a kid, I was like, all right, this is gonna be some easy work for my boy Goku. Nobody could be Goku. Man, fuck Goku. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I I and I enjoyed all of these parts. Um. God damn it, stop! But yeah, this man was running everybody's fade with no effort, bro. But you wanna know what Broly's greatest feat is in my eyes? This man made Vegeta, a member of the round table of Black Air Force activity, a bitch. First and foremost, he was not a bitch, okay? He was <laughs> oh my god. Stop fucking lying. It was not, okay? All right. I just think, I just think that he was in disbelief. That is different. Why the fuck you lying? Oh, Why you always lying? Like, yo, my nigga didn't even want to fight him, bruh. He made yeah. Vegeta. Out of all the people, bruh, Vegeta shit bricks. Bro, oh my God. And he was hot. Like, this nigga on his knees and everything, bruh. That nigga was proposing to me, Doug. And you know that I know that you lying, oh girl. My gosh, if you don't get your sorry ass up, nigga, put your ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. Hey, I love every part. I'm gonna mm. fuck your ass from this goddamn council. Damn, you lucky this movie ain't canon, nigga. Shit, I was gonna have to put up a poll to revoke your Black Air Force energy license, bro. This is I mean, damn unacceptable. But I you mean, know what? he never I'll did anything wrong. Justice once, but if I catch you. So bitch shit like this ever again, your ass is getting revoked, nigga. <clears throat> but anyways, I feel bad for these little green people, bro. This man Broly just murked they planet for no reason. I mean, this is how this basically went down, bro. Roll the clip. Oh, look at the little green niggas trying to do some rebellious ass shit. I got a question for y'all. Is that your planet right there? Yeah, why? Shit, nigga, fuck your planet. Oh, 
Oh shit, what the nigga doing? The one, the. <laughs> oh shit. The one time, the one time going on a field trip was actually good. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> they bled it, got blown up. It's, that's not good. That's I not good. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at this vicious ass WWE style clothesline, bro. Like this dude literally picked Trunks ass up <laughs> off the ground with his arm <laughs> and slammed his ass <laughs> in the wall, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though, this man Broly might have had some of the most terrifying quotes in anime history, dog. I mean, just listen to what this man says real quick. Kakarot, how much do you love your son? <laughs> First and foremost, everybody knows Kakarot don't love his son. You need to be asking Piccolo that, okay? Called it. Duh. Second of all, shout outs to Broly. When he said he want to destroy a planet, he gets it done. Unlike Frieza. Frieza takes what, four episodes? Him, one episode, one movie, blows it completely up. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he may be a menace, but he's efficient. This man is out here threatening kids, bro. Kakarot, how much do you love your son? Hell no, bruh. That's how you know you're dealing with some of them psychopath ass niggas, dog. Look at him just eat this knee to the jaw, bruh. Dude just ate that shit for breakfast, bruh. Ooh, then, yes. Oh, poor go. Oh, oh, <laughs> he came out of the woodwork, grabbed his face, and just started dragging it on the wall. Like, bruh, chill. The dude's only 11. Yo, this man Broly said these hands are ready to eat for anything, my nigga. Then he just comes out of nowhere, then just double close lines of bruh. bruh. <laughs> and then he does it again, bro. You know who Broly reminds me of? That one character in a fighting game that just has that one broken ass move that you could just spam over and over and over again. Like, bro, we all know we all have that one friend. That one friend that always plays the OP ass character and just spams that shit. Like, they could be absolute dog water at the game, like literal doo doo cheeks. But once they catch your ass slipping once, it's, it's over, bro. You're, 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 you're done. Like, that was like my friend when we used to play Spash. I think it was Spash, bro. He used to eat me. He... Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wow, context. He used to do that. He used to eat me in the um. Sort of a mental typo. With Yoshi, and then he would just poop me off the side, and I wouldn't know how to get out of that. Like I didn't know how to get out of that. So literally, we would be fighting. I'd be so close to winning, and they just poop me off the side as an egg. If anybody plays Smash Bros, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anybody else, you gonna be like, this girl's weird. Literally, Broly, bro. He is the embodiment of side B spam. Like he only needs one move, bro. Stick out your damn arms and just move. <laughs> this man was just. Battering Goku, bro. But you know what? I give Goku props, bro. At least he was still fighting him. Not like your bitch ass. Oh, no. No. Fine. No, no. Don't give me that. Vegeta can finally sit out of a fight, okay? Vegeta has been fighting every time that Kakarot decides that he don't want to come back. Every time that Kakarot decides that he wants to go off and train, he wants to go off and die, and everything else. Vegeta was holding it down with the Ginyu squad. Vegeta was holding it down with Cell. Vegeta was holding it down with Frieza. Goku was taking his sweep behind time, getting everywhere and everything else. He could have, he could have phased back when, when um Frieza came back to Earth. He could have phased back in an instant. But you know what he did? He's like, nah, I'm gonna take the pod thing, and he could have did that instantaneously. I don't want to hear that Goku finally did something. He should have because his son was getting his ass kicked. Okay, he finally should be there for his son. Okay, let Piccolo take a break. All right. So I don't want to hear nothing. Get off your ass, son. You see, it sucks when your favorite character gets bitched out like this. But then look at this right here. It's a four-on-one. Now you see, any other day, you see a four-on-one, somebody about to get their ass jumped. But now nah, Broly hit him with that Uno reverse card, bro. He said, y'all niggas about to get jumped by me. <laughs> me alone, bitch. I mean, yo, look, look at this. Look, look at this. The disrespect. His arms are 
across <laughs> and he is smiling while they're doing this shit. And look at this man Piccolo, bro. He came in trying to attack Broly. Nah, he's <laughs> hurting himself and trying to attack him, bro. Yo, look at this. This man is moving like a damn freight train. Imagine you are in a dark alley and then you see this shit coming at your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just kicked Piccolo out of the way, bro. <laughs> I feel bad for Piccolo. Shit out of his ass. It was like this man Piccolo was just roadkill on the road and Broly just ran his ass over. Oh my. Here go Vegeta again, looking like a bitch. This man really had to pick his sorry ass up and drag his ass off. He had to pick, okay, yeah, yeah. He had to take him to the fight. You right, you right, you right. He did. All right, I give you, I give you credit for that. It's not as bad as your son was thinking that you dead and then he use, he finally get all the Dragon Balls back and wishes you back and you say you don't want to come back to be with your son. You'd rather stay doing whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. So yeah, he had to take him to a fight. But but who's more disappointed? Okay. Y'all here, bro. Oh my gosh, Vegeta be pressing my motherfucking buttons, my nigga. He, he wants to act like a bitch. You supposed to be the hardest nigga in the Z Fighters, bro. And he you is. Out here getting caught lacking. Like this man Piccolo had to give him a whole ass pep talk. And then this man Broly did the most savage thing I've ever seen in my life. He walked through a Kamehameha. Oh my god. Not even a scratch and this nigga is laughing. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Look at this man Goku's face, bro. This just says it all. What the fuck <laughs> we do? So Vegeta finally grew up here and decided to attack. Thank God. But we we all know what was gonna happen. Oh my babe. <laughs> At least he tried. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm. And then this man killed his pops. He crushed him in that small ass escape pod. Then threw his ass to goddamn Narnia. Like he chucked that bitch. Like what is that Olympic sport where like they twirl around like they chuck the. Oh, that's a discus. I used to do that in high school. I used to do uh, discus and shot put. Yeah. High school fact. Fuck out of that ball. Discus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discus. discus. He played discus with his <laughs> goddamn ball. Nigga set a galactic record. Ta -da! It's... It's gone. And then he started jumping on this man like a damn trampoline. Oh, my. This is why I love this movie. Bro, do I even have to go on to Exhibit B? I mean, I mean, why not? But yeah, that was Exhibit A. So, uh, I guess we'll do Exhibit B. I mean, if you don't need it, but we'll do Exhibit B. Oh, sh we were still on Exhibit A? Bruh. Okay, I sh you, we already should have known that he was crazy because his pupils are gone. He don't even got eyeballs. He just got white. Nothing's wrong with white, okay? Some of my best friends are white. Really, nigga? <laughs> I'm saying pupils matter. They matter. We just go keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. <clears throat> Exhibit B. B. This man came back from the brink of death to beat the shit out of Goku's kids and his daughter-in-law in a younger version of Trunks again. <laughs> oh my God. This shit gotta stop, bruh. Broly, Broly, Broly. I don't know what this man Goku did to piss you off so much. I mean, was his crying that damn loud? Yes. Like, my nigga, you should have just called a noise complaint or some shit. Like, he pissed him off to the point that the only words that this man can say at this point is, is Kakarot. Kakarot. Oh my gosh, bro. I felt so bad for Goten, bro. This is why you should never get the same haircut as your father. <laughs> and then, oh, poor Trunks as well. Like, this man already oh. beat up his future self, so he said, you know what? I'm gonna beat up your present <laughs> self now. But Dell also got slaughtered, but I mean, at least it wasn't as bad as a spoken bitch ass whooping. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Now, that is one of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history, hands down. Then Gohan had to get his ass whooped again. <laughs> Probably had PTSD after last time he got his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
my guy. Like, look at this. He is like bending his spine right now. Then he gave him the nastiest bear hug of all time. <laughs> I love how the only way they could beat this man was the power of plot. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're gonna need a bigger table. Cause this man has clearly earned his spot on the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like this is savagery on another level. But I am not talking about Bio Broly. That 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 movie was some ass cheeks. I'm sorry. And even though Super Broly is a way 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 better written character than Z Broly, Z Broly just had that just savageness. That just ruthless ass aggression. Like every time you saw this man on the screen, you knew somebody was about to get their ass body. So yeah. Broly, Broly is a menace. He made this table with ease. We only needed two exhibits. So I mean, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, if so, that was that was that was Broly Radiates Black Force Air Force Energy. I'm gonna be honest and serious. Everybody, I, I said it was a stupid thing before, right? It was a stupid thing before that he was he got pissed off that go that uh, Kakarot woke him up. But think about it. I want you to think about it. Probably everybody in his life that ever pissed him off has probably died. Like, just think about that. So literally he kills everybody that pisses him off. And the one thing that he remembers is I could not sleep because this would not shut the fuck up. I'm going to kill him right when I see him, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Everybody, we have all had that one person be like, I swear to God, if this month could talk to me today, it is not the day, it's not the time, it's not the season, and it's not the year. God ain't through with me yet, and I'm ready to put this hoe through the wall. She better not even think about saying my name today. We have all been there. Done that and got the t-shirt. Men and women. So maybe, maybe this is the only person that actually survived. He's like, oh, I got that. I caught that. Catch me outside. How about that? Basically, that's how it was. So that was my review on this one uh broly radi radiates black force energy of, of course again my name is shay too sweet you call me shay for short and like my grandmother says so long <laughs>